How the fuck are ya, Booger Lips, Galactic Criminal here? Cattle Decapitation presents The Unerasable Past, a short film by Wes Ben Scoter. Honestly, I had a different reaction entirely planned for today, but when this shit happened upon my plate, I felt like this is something I'm gonna wanna see. Shot during summer and fall 2019, this elaborate music video showcases the striking universe of Wes Ben Scoter's art in conjunction with the concepts brought into play by Cattle Decapitation. The video is the, the culmination of a fruitful 18-year-long relationship between the band and the world-renowned artist, and is the first ever music video of his vastly expansive career, which includes having worked with such mainstays as Slayer, Creator, Dio, Nile, Autopsy, Broken Hope, among many others. That's pretty fucking awesome. So I guess he does, like, cover art for, for bands? I don't know, I've never heard of him before, but it sounds interesting. So let's not wait any fucking longer and get right into this shit. Now it's coming in at just under 11 minutes, so buckle in, buttheads. <laughs> Cattle Decapitation presents the unerasable past with a one, two,
Wow. It's over already. That was 10 minutes. Holy fuck. I mean, that was kind of brilliant, right? Wow. That's very cool. That is very, very cool. <laughs> Now, I, I think I said before this that I'm not familiar with this guy, never heard of him before, Wes Ben Scudder. But like like they said in the description, he's worked with a whole lot of fucking very, very famous, longtime fucking metal bands creating their uh, their cover art. Now, I believe the cover art for uh, Decapitation's uh, new fucking album, Death Atlas, was what we saw there, the fucking the, the skeleton Death Atlas holding up the scorched earth. Very, very fucking cool. Now, I did also say in the, in the description here, talking with the vocalist, uh, uh. they always wanted to have a music video that paired with the uh, the cover art of their albums, but was never able to really get that done. You know, so this guy came in to direct this thing, and I think he did a phenomenal job. I mean, okay, I, I didn't even realize that those, that almost 11 minutes had fucking had gone by. It felt like like four or five minutes, like the length of just a normal metal track to me, because I was just I was so engaged with what was going on here, trying to figure out what kind of meaning uh, to, to, to get from this thing, and obviously it means we're basically destroying the planet. It's gonna be destroyed eventually. It's got the scorched earth thing just starting off just showing the trash and stuff and the burned up fucking bodies and just that way it was just so creative. So incredibly creative with just the way that this was shot. I have to assume he also said uh, in the in the description here that Wes said that he used like all kinds of different filming elements, you know, like a lot of practical stuff, a little bit of digital stuff, a lot of smoke effects and stuff. So uh, that's uh, definitely what I was noticing there. Like, the, there was a lot of like, destroyed buildings with, like, the yellow light behind it, which was very, very cool. And I kind of feel like that has to have been, like, a, like miniatures. You know, like, miniatures of buildings with just, like, the lighting done just the right way. Which just, it, it, it just it made it so incredibly fantastic. It honestly did, did feel like we got, like, a, a, a close-in, like, zoomed-in view of what would be their fucking, their cover art. Now, like, it, again, it ends up being the fucking Scorched Earth with the fucking, the Death Atlas, but how they kind of, like, had zoomed into the Earth. I kind of imagine, like, all this stuff that we got to see, all these visuals, being on the fucking, you know, the cover of the album, but then kind of, like, zooming in around all those things, being, like, actually inside of it. I don't, I don't know. There's, uh, I'm, I'm talking a lot, but I'm also kind of speechless. I was, I was not expecting to, to react to fucking Cattle Decapitation today, let alone uh, just an incredible, incredible fucking music video. I mean, and, and the music, just like the music and the video just paired in so incredibly well together. I mean, like, the, the fucking, this West guy, he, I, I feel like he understands, he understands the, the, the music that he, was, uh, that he was making the video for. Cause it just it, it just worked and like there's like the, the demon guy who was really cool who I wish we got a little bit of a better look at when he was doing the screaming and stuff. I wish they had to put some lights on him a little bit more so he could get a real good look at whatever kind of makeup effects that they were doing on him. Cause he did look from what I could tell pretty fucking sick and just like the the track was this actually was this Death Atlas was that the song that we that we heard on here? I don't really know or was it the Unerasable Past the actual song? Is that the name, just the name of the video? I don't really know. It says here, as it say the album's coming out. Comes out uh, next week, I guess. That's pretty fucking cool. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I'll have to listen to some more. But I enjoyed what we got to hear in this. And it was kind of a, like, it was kind of throwing me off at times, too. Doing, like, like clean, uh, like, spoken word type stuff. There was, like, the, like female vocals that came in that just were kind of jarring to me. It was like, is that shit on the album? Because I thought that was a very, very interesting juxtaposition to the sound we were getting. And I like the vocalists. I like that, like, that screechy style of death metal vocals, dude. Just, yeah. Everything, everything about this was fantastic. I loved the music. I loved the atmosphere. I loved the effects. All the shots. Every single shot was fantastic. The opening fucking, like, tracking shot just... I fucking loved 
every single second of this. But hey, if you stuck with me to the end, what did you think? This motherfucker, are you gonna be getting like, this album, the cattle's habitation? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video so you can go to watch it for yourself. For screen audio, we get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.